probably been hearing the term APT or Advanced Persistent Threat. But there's a lot of confusion about what this means. Sometimes we get that confused with things like malware or who is the attacker. But really, APT is about the objective. There's an important piece of information that has been targeted that needs to be stolen, and that's what APTs do. The thing to understand about these types of attacks is they're so advanced, they, they typically haven't been seen in the wild before. Traditional types of controls often don't pick them up. They're what we call a zero-day attack. They haven't been seen. And so often people have been breached and they don't even know it. These attackers are so sophisticated that they're working very hard to make sure that there's no evidence, there's nothing to signal that, that an intruder is in the network. There's a, a phenomenal number of attack vectors that everybody has to defend against these days. It could be a network attack vector, it could be coming from users, it could be from web, websites, web browsers, through the use of mobile technologies, VPN, those kinds of things. Everything is at risk today. And so there's no one place where you can plug uh, a hole or plug a gap and then feel confident that, that you have solved all your problems. The defenses that we have today have been around for a long time and our adversaries have spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to bypass traditional controls. This is why it's so imperative that we come up with new ways to try to discover these types of attacks before they can damage our enterprise. At Forrester Research, we've created a new model of information security that we call the Zero Trust Model. First thing is, all resources must be accessed in a secure manner, regardless of location. So it doesn't matter whether you're an internal user or an external user, you're still going to have to have a very secure connection. The second thing that we need to do is put a lot of access control against the traffic. Quite a number of attacks uh, happen because once you penetrate the perimeter, you have free reign on the internal network. Uh, by penetrating that perimeter, you become a so-called trusted user and no one's looking for those kinds of attacks. And this is what advanced persistent threat types of attacks are, are counting on. And then the third thing is you have to inspect and log all traffic. Not just the traffic on the internet, not just the traffic on the perimeter, but all the traffic, every bit, every byte, every packet. And so using those th three major tenants, you can design a system that, that increases your ability to see these types of attacks before the attacker can exfiltrate your data. The first step for an organization that wants to adopt a zero trust strategy is to first change your mindset. Understand that you, you're going to have to fundamentally change the way you think about information security and about the traffic that traverses your network. You next need to deploy a tool that we call NAB, Network Analysis and Visibility. These tools look at your flows, look at packets, look at metadata, and determine what's actually happening on your internal network. Whenever an attacker tries to get into your network, we know that there's certain steps they're going to take. They're going to try to do some reconnaissance. They also may try to deploy malware that you, you haven't seen before. This is where technologies like sandboxing come into play. A sandbox can intercept a packet or a piece of uh, code and then run it in a virtual machine in a way that it won't damage your network if it's malicious. So there's so many things that we can do today using modern technologies. We can go well beyond what we, we've done in the past and it's important to access all of these tools in order to get the kind of visibility that you need to have situational awareness about the status of the security of your network. It's important we leverage NAV tools to monitor the network and look for the activities that might suggest an attacker has penetrated our network and is in the, the very inner workings of it trying to access data. By looking at that behavior and those activities, we can hopefully catch that attacker in the act before they can steal our data. In the future, we can anticipate that the technologies 
created to find these advanced threats can be used to uplift other security controls that we already have in our network. We're about to embark on a data economy. This idea that we have tremendous amounts of data that we need to parse, we need to use. The data must be protected. And it's important to move those protections closer to the data, not closer to the user. And to do that, you need to know what's accessing the data, how the data is being used, what's happening on your network. You need visibility. Visibility will give you situational awareness. Mm -hmm.